time for music. Since his debut in 2006 with You Give Me Something, the singer-songwriter has topped the charts around the world. Here performing his brand new single, Don't Mess With Love, it's James Morrison. <laughs> Kill you up at night, then let it go, let it go. And if I feel like it's got your back, that's the scariest thing that you ever had. Let it flow, let it flow. You gotta keep it as you find me, or you gotta let it take you over. So don't push it aside. And you deep inside your soul, inside your soul. Ooh, and if it's real, then it hurts when you hold it. But you can't help lose all control, all control. Oh, gotta keep it as you find it. Or you gotta let it take you over. So don't push it aside. If there's one thing I've learned, no, you don't mess with love. Don't walk away just to say the hell. If you know what it's worth, no, you don't mess with love. So the harder they come and the harder they fall. Ooh, after all, no, you don't mess with love. I said the harder. Got a chair for you, drink everything. Look at that. They love you. They love you. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? They love you. Uh, How you doing? Hello. Hello. Oh. Uh, welcome, James Horton. Thank you for that. That was gorgeous. I say uh, new single, it couldn't be newer. <laughs> uh, it's out today. Oh, that's yeah. right, yeah. Today. Fresh, fresh mm. off the press. Yeah. Mm. You don't have pre order or anything. <laughs> just buy it. Yeah. And your voice is fantastic. We were just oh, saying. Fine. I mean, that, for a live vocal, that was just gorgeous. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, thanks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> And James, I believe, has high hopes for that new single because <laughs> he has already decided to include it on his upcoming Greatest Hits album. Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's as embarrassing as it is sort of a proud feeling. It's a really amazing. I can't believe that I've got to this point, really. Yeah. It's quite 70s porn, this. <laughs> <laughs> Should have left the moustache. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very nice, very nice. And uh, but, but here's the odd thing, though. So you you were doing a greatest hits album, yeah. but you didn't just 
cobble them together. You, do That's you, right. Did you re-record them all? Well, I just thought I wanted to do something fresh for me. You know, I've been I've been singing them songs for the best part of 15 years, and all all people have heard of my recordings are the ones on the radio, and I just didn't feel comfortable putting them songs together on a list without them having anything new. So I just. I just thought it's an opportunity for me to take all the stuff that annoys me. Because <laughs> you learn to get, you know, you learn to sort of get used to certain things that you do. And, and it was nice to have the opportunity to go back in and re record them and do. It's, I actually enjoyed it more this time than I did the first time. But have you. Would you mind? No, please. No, but really. <laughs> no, I really don't. No, really? <laughs> okay. uh, but, like, do oh, you. Man. Are you just. Are you doing <laughs> <laughs> Shush! <laughs> no, but when you do that, I suppose that because I understand what you mean, but the danger is maybe that it's just it's a you thing, and so you're really enjoying yeah, this yeah, recording yeah. while other people are going, "Why didn't what you just give us the?" Done that? What's he so done to is it? it you and other people's pairs of ears as well? Uh, well, I mean, I think it's just over time, over 15 years, you get a rough sort of pattern of like, okay, I still feel like that about like little things like just speeding them up slightly or taking some of the production out of it a little right. bit and having some space in there. That was one of the things I wanted to do. But it was good because, obviously, lockdown was so, you know, heart boring, really. <laughs> I set up my studio and then, and then I got to record an album with my band that I tour with. Mm. So it was almost like the first gig I'd done in a year and a half, so that was cool. Yeah. And then I got to hang out with my band for a week, so it was like holiday. It was like, from, especially from not making any music for so long. When I finally got in there, it was just... I just realised how lo incredibly lucky and grateful I am that I still do it for a job. It's, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. I should say, The Greatest Hits album, that's out on the 11th of February. 11th of February, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I've got a tour in March and April in the UK. So, I mean, I'm, exci I'm excited to be playing music again, definitely. Right. I just can't wait to get back out and do that thing that, you know, as you guys know, when you mm. do the thing that you love, I've just yeah, realised how underwhelmed I sounded about my own tour. <laughs> <laughs> These old jokes, yeah, they still work. <laughs> but he's feeding, he's feeding some of them up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, good for you. I'm so pleased for you. Congratulations and uh, good luck yeah, with the thanks, tour thanks and the single and the yeah, album. Sure. James Morrison, everybody! Yeah. Woo. Cheers.